Amen. God bless you on tonight. We give honor to God who is the head of our life. Uh, we also give honor to our pastor, Pastor Jacqueline Cannon. We honor her on tonight and we appreciate her for giving us this place, this space, amen, to say something on behalf of our Lord Jesus Christ. We also give honor to the elders of the house and everyone, the children of God, the saints of God, everybody in their prospective places. It means something to be a child of God today, a saint of God, living for God in these last and evil days. And I just honor any saint of God, amen, that's doing the will of God in these challenging hours, amen. I want to also appreciate God, amen, for the baptism of the Holy Ghost coming into my life one day, saving me and filling me with the Holy Ghost and that with the burning fire. We're going to get into this lesson on tonight, amen. We're not going to be before you long at all, but we are going to share with you what the Lord has given unto us. Uh, there is a word from the Lord that's always instruction and a word from God. He will never leave us without instruction. And on tonight, we're going to be dealing with uh, Jonah. On tonight, I want to thank you all for joining us, those that are logged in tonight and have joined us on YouTube Live. We thank you for joining us, and hopefully this will be a blessing to you. We're going to look at Jonah 1, uh, the first chapter of Jonah on tonight. And I want to go ahead and give you my subject, amen, because, amen, this is time for self-examination, amen, and we want to uh, deal with the subject get control of yourself. That's what we want to talk about tonight. We want to talk about getting control of ourselves. And someone initially would say, well, I can't get control of myself. Amen. But indeed, you can. Amen. It takes the Holy Ghost a power and takes you accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. But after the fact that you have received him, amen, then the choice is yours. You have to continue. Uh, the Bible says follow on to know the Lord, but the choice is yours. Just because you made the initial decision uh, to choose him and you made the initial choice to serve him does not mean that uh, 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 he's going to do the work now and you don't have to do anything. The Bible says that if any man will come after him, that he must first deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow him. And so anytime that you're talking about a daily walk, that means it's a daily conscious decision that you are making not to do things your way but to do things God's way and that's what we're going to deal with tonight because it's high time that we get control of ourselves. Uh, 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 the church is on the forefront and, and, and a lot of times uh, if you let me use this example uh, because the church being the entity of God, God is in control of the world, but the church is on the forefront and we got to understand that we are uh, so much in control of the way things run down here. Uh, God is in control, but the church has uh, uh, plays a vital role, amen, in leading out in this society. You take a person, amen, for instance, amen, uh, that takes, it takes a trip, amen, that you're driving some where. Amen. And if I choose to follow that person at any point, a given time along the way, amen, I can choose not to go uh, to, 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 follow, to follow them on to where they are going. I can change courses at any time. I can choose to say, well, you know, for whatever reason, I don't think that that's a good way. Amen. I know a better way. And, you know, and I can get off course and, 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 and start going and doing things my own way, amen, and not following, amen, the person that I supposed to be following, amen, but on tonight, we cannot choose to do things our own way. We have to choose to do things God, God's way, for the Bible says that there is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end are the ways of death, amen, and which is destruction, and so we want to look at getting control of ourselves, um, the, uh, the, 
dictionary defines get as to come or to have or to hold. It, it, it's uh, coming to have or to hold something. Uh, this is what happens when we receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Control is the power to um, direct one's behavior. And that's what uh, the Holy Ghost is to us. It is the uh, mechanism or the factor uh, that helps us to be in control. If we would just yield amen to the Spirit of God the Bible tells us that uh, the Spirit, how be it when he, the Spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. He is a guide but you have to choose to follow him. Amen. Man, now it's high time to look about ourselves. Amen. Because um, uh, we have to look about ourselves because they are just not enemies without, but they are enemies within. We have enemies working on the inside of us. I found out a, a, a while ago that people, uh, it was not the fact that people don't love God all the time, but the Bible says that in the last days they will be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. And we have to understand and we have to make sure, amen, that we love God above things, amen, that are working on the inside of us, amen, things that are not like God. And we have to work out those things. The Bible tells us to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. We have to come to a place where we get control of ourselves. I started to say maintain control, but if I said maintain control, somebody would think that the way that they are going and that it is a good way. No, I want you to understand that you have to get control of yourself as it pertains to being in the will of God. And now is how time to look about ourselves and be on guard against enemies from both within and without. You know, people say they want God to have his way, but uh, 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 they really just want God to allow things to go their way. And that cannot be uh, uh, that our testimony as the people of God. We cannot be spoiled children that just want everything to go our way. Amen. Because I come to say tonight that his way is the best way. And whether you see it now or not, the old people used to say you will understand it better by and by. But now is the time to walk by faith. Amen. And obey. Amen. The will of God and the way of God as he instructs us to go. Amen. The old people used to say you will understand it better by and by. And so now we just have to walk in the way. Amen. And let God be glorified. As we look at this story, Jonah Amen. The Bible says that now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah. And we have to understand and be sensitive to the voice of God uh, because God is going to always speak to us and instruct us. Amen. But as humans, amen, even because we are in this flesh, we are able to override, amen, the spirit of God. And it's not that God did not speak to us, amen, but we, we are able to override what what he speaks to us and a lot of times we override it because of things that are working on the inside of us amen and so now we see that how God spoke to Jonah and he told Jonah he told him to go down amen to, to Nineveh and to preach amen to Nineveh because sin had come up before him amen and, and so God uh, instructed his servant his man of God amen to go down and preach Amen. And here it is, Jonah, amen, having an experience, amen, with the Ninevites. Amen. Jonah, amen, did not want to go, amen, down to Nineveh to preach. Amen. And the reason why is because Jonah was prejudiced, amen, against the Ninevites. And he knew that if he obeyed God and if he went down, amen, to preach to those Ninevites, amen, that God was going to hear, God was going to forgive, amen, and God was going to turn their situation around. 
ground. And so Jonah, the Bible says, went down to, I believe it was Joppa and called a, a, a boat, a, amen, a ship, amen, to Tarshish. Amen. Uh, uh, the Bible says that he fleed, he was trying intentionally to flee the presence of the Lord. And isn't that so interesting that after, amen, God has spoken, amen, that we don't want to do what he says so bad, amen, that the feelings that we have on the inside of us are so strong, amen, that we would just turn and go, amen, the opposite way. And so when we look at the scripture on tonight, we understand why he fled. We are, and if we are not careful, we can allow our feelings to become so strong that we will do everything but what God has instructed us to do. But you know what the Bible tells us to do? It tells us to gird up the loins of our mind and be sober. And how many people today are not sober in their thinking? Amen. Because of, of things that they've allowed, amen, to do digest in their spirit. Amen. You know, our eyes and our ears is how we eat. And so sometimes you have to consider what you are listening to and what you are digesting and what you are entertaining and what you are allowing, amen, to, to get into your spirit. Amen. Because when that thing is strong, amen, it will sit on the throne instead of God sit on the throne. And that's what we find happening here. Amen. In the scripture, amen, is is that Jonah, a man, was trying to flee the presence of the Lord. And in verse 5, you will find that, amen, the, the, uh, the, they went down, amen, into the bottom of the ship and found Jonah asleep, which was a very interesting sight because a storm had arose. And here it is, Jonah, in the midst of the storm, Jonah is asleep. And how many people are so drunk on the cares of this life that they are sleeping in a dangerous time. Amen. Sleep, amen, and drunk off their own will. Amen. And this is not the way that God would have for it to be. I come to I tell somebody today to get control of yourself. You got to believe, amen, in the instruction of the Lord, and it's our job, amen, to be obedient. Some people know him as Savior, but not many people will recognize him as Lord. To recognize him as Lord is says I will obey I submit amen you are in control and not me but here is Jonah sleeping in a dangerous time and you know why this is not good because his obedience amen uh, 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 would not only save him but it would save those around him his disobedience amen is not just amen going to be detriment to him that we see when he swallowed by the, uh, uh, the, the large fish amen Amen. But it is others are in danger because he will not obey. Amen. The instruction of the Lord. And we got to understand that when we don't obey the instruction of the Lord. Amen. That we put other people in danger. Amen. And it is our. Amen. Supposed to be our endeavor. Amen. Is to help humanity and let God use us to bring glory to his name. The Bible says that if my people. Amen. Amen, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray. If they would seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Sounds like that we have a responsibility and if we're going to see deliverance, if we're going to see change, amen, that it is con uh, uh, under condition and that condition it, it, it calls us amen to obey, amen the word of the Lord that he instructs of us, amen, it is our job, it is our duty to obey the word of of the Lord. The Bible tells us that this is, in so many words, this is an individual affair. This is not a man. Your, your decision to obey God or, or not to obey God, it, it, it's on you. It's an individual affair. Nobody else is responsible for the decision that you are making. Amen. And as we look at the kingdom of God and as we look at, amen, let's, let me just say as we look at the church world, amen, we see a trend going on. 
on. And that trend is we see, amen, how many people start well, amen, but they don't end well. Amen. You see it in preaching. Amen. You see it in the industry of music. Amen. On how people will start with God. Amen. And then they will change courses. Amen. They start well. Amen. But they, amen, don't end up well. But I come to tell you, that don't have to be your testimony. Amen. Just as you started, amen, you can finish. Amen. For the Bible says that, lo, I will be with you always, Jesus said, even to the end of the world. Amen. But he will be with you, amen, as long as you submit. Amen. You have to submit to his will. You have to submit to his way. Amen. I think so many times that the Holy Ghost is not going to, amen, stay, amen, where he's always overridden. Amen. And he can speak. Amen. But if you keep on overriding the spirit of God, amen, he's not going to continue to be there. He's not going to continue to speak. Amen. And so we have to make sure, amen, that we obey him. He said that my spirit is not going to always strive with man. I'm not going to keep pulling at man and he keep on rejecting me. Amen. It comes a time in our life, amen, where we have to submit and just do the will of God. Our success in Christ goes far beyond our initial choosing. We must sign on each day to trust the process to become. I say so many times the Bible tells us that as many as did receive him, gave he the power to become the sons of God. And a lot of times we think that just because we said yes to God in that initial choosing, that we are automatically the sons of God. Amen. But just like any other thing, amen, there is a process, amen, to become come what it is that God will have us to be. Amen. And so anytime that you talk about becoming something, it means that there is a process. There is a journey to encounter. And what we have to do is we have to be willing amen to stay in the way. Amen. And to follow God every step of the way. He said that just as we do in the natural upon following someone. Amen. And we got to sign on. Amen. And make Make sure that we follow God every step of the way. Amen. I come to tell somebody on tonight that you are a work of God. Yes, you are a work of God. Amen. We often talk about the work of God as it pertains to church work. Amen. But I come to tell you that you are a work of God and God is working on you. Amen. God is working on you right now. Amen. A lot of things that you have not obtained in a lot of places. Amen. That you have not wind up is because that's how much God cares about you. Because God knows that you are not ready to deal with some things but he uh, allows space amen for you to get ready amen and this is that preparation time I need you to understand that there is an expectation of you as a matter of fact the earth is moaning and groaning and it, it's waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God amen and it's high time amen that we awake out of sleep amen and get to doing amen what it is that God would have for us to do amen and snap out of this sleepy place amen snap out of doing things amen our own way amen because the world can't be changed amen by our own will the world cannot be changed and people's lives cannot be transformed by us doing things our way amen we got to do things amen God's way hallelujah and so I just want to encourage somebody tonight Amen. To let God have his way. Amen. Get control of yourself. Amen. Everything. Amen. In the body, uh, 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 the, 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 the church is uh, um, uh, designed as a body. He, and, and if every member of the body works in its place, amen, everything works properly. Amen. But a heart of unbelief is the root of all departures from God and the faith of Jesus Christ. If even if even once we allow ourselves to distrust God, we may soon desert him. <laughs> 
And you got to understand the enemy wants to hinder faith by stopping or changing your present action. He doesn't care what you did on yesterday. He doesn't care what you may do on tomorrow. Uh, he ain't even worried about tomorrow at all. If he can stop you in the present. Amen. And so now you have to learn. Amen. To fight. Amen. The good fight of faith on today. Personal control is gained according to what you choose to esteem in your life what are you esteeming in your life what are you esteeming uh, 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 one of the writers said I esteem the word of God I esteem it higher than my necessary food hallelujah what are you esteeming in your life hallelujah those things that you esteem amen is those things that are going to gain control of your life the hand of God on you doesn't give you a get in free card but it means that there is an expectation of you hallelujah so it is high time for us amen to get control of ourselves did you not know that you can be in control while out of control you know, you take a person that's uh, 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 driving a car, a person, amen, that's behind the wheel, amen, you can be in control, amen, but if you're all over the highway, amen, and can't stay in your lane, amen, you are detriment, amen, and you are causing, amen, calamities, amen, because, amen, you are out of control, although you are in control. And so we have to be careful that while we are, are in a place uh, to lead out, amen, that we lead out, amen, that we lead out, amen, uh, under the inspiration of God and that we're doing things and that we're doing things in divine order. I come to encourage someone tonight, amen, this is, this is a season of promotion. I don't know if you can tell or not, but you have so many promotions going on. They got so many ways of getting money. It seems like anybody that you talk to now, they say they have have more money than they ever had before this is a season of promotion and for the church for the people of God, for the saints of God, this is a season of promotion, but promotion does not just come. It comes through a series of tests, hallelujah, and, and, and it comes through a series of, 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 of trials and tribulations and uh, uh, opposition, amen, and as long as you overcome those things, a promotion, uh, there is a promotion for you, amen, and you never, ever, ever, amen, have to stop stay where you are. Amen. You can go as high in God as you want to go, but you have got to get control of yourself. You have to let God be the leader and not you lead. Amen. Let God do the leading. Amen. And not you. Amen. And that means that we have to let God take root in our heart. Let him take root in our mind uh, with the mind that we serve the law of Christ. We have to understand that uh, in order to serve the law of God that we have to know the law of God and so now we must read our word we must find ourselves in prayer talking to God building a relationship with God amen and if we do those things amen that if he's on the throne amen we will always find ourselves maintaining control amen in these last and evil days this is no time amen to lose control but this is time, amen, to maintain, amen, control, amen, because the enemy, amen, is trying, amen, to cut us off as the people of God, amen, and he's trying to allow things to come in our heart and would allow us to, to lose faith in Christ, that would allow us, amen, to lose our seat in the kingdom, amen, but I come to admonish you tonight to hold on, amen, maintain your focus, amen, get in control of those things that are out of control amen let God arise and let those enemies be scattered amen be encouraged on tonight amen this thing is not over amen I believe I said the other night amen that a lot of times that we are focused amen on the end that Jesus is coming and we know he is coming but a lot of times when we focus on the end amen we will lose sight on what we are supposed to be doing right now and the kingdom 
kingdom of God is right now. The kingdom of God is within you. Amen. So we cannot, amen, just look for the end, amen, because we will miss, amen, the impact that we're supposed to have in this generation right now. Amen. I know we've read about David and Moses and we read about Paul and all these other great men of God, Daniel and the three Hebrew boys. Amen. But I believe, amen, that there are, amen, some Moses and some Davids, amen, and Amen. Some great men and women of God. Amen. That's going to do things that we've never seen before. Amen. But I need you to be encouraged on tonight. Amen. God is pulling for you. He is in your corner. Amen. But we have got to get control. Amen. Of ourselves. Amen. We have to let our will die. Amen. So that he may live and be glorified. Amen. I just want you to be encouraged on tonight. Amen. Keep looking to the hills from which cometh your help. All of your help comes from the Lord. Amen. You don't have to be troubled. Amen. About things that concern you. Amen. God got you. Amen. God has got you covered. Amen. God is on your side and God is fighting for you. Amen. But if you want to keep winning, amen. Get control of yourself. Amen. Let God be in control. Don't be like Jonah and have to be beat into submission. Amen. The Bible the Bible tells us even that Jonah went on and did the will of God. Yes, he did. And a lot of times, if we're not careful, we will, uh, uh, God will forgive us. God will uh, work with us in such a way that uh, 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 he'll, he'll, he'll give us an opportunity and he will uh, allow us another chance. He'll forgive us. And, and sometimes if we're not careful, uh, uh, we will allow that grace of God. We will turn it into lasciviousness. Amen. Uh, uh, and, and, and when I look that up, Amen. Uh, 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 what that is saying is that we will begin using the grace of God. It will be something that will be something that we will begin to lust after. Uh, we will always just be looking, amen, for the grace of God because he, he's so good to us that because he did it last time and because he forgave me that time that we'll begin looking for the grace of God again. We'll, it just be something that we just lust after. It just becomes so attractive to us that we'll begin doing things our way amen expecting amen for the grace of God amen to forgive us again but again the Bible says that my spirit is not going to always strive with man amen I'm not going to always keep amen pulling at you amen and keep amen uh, 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 trying to get you to do things my way amen it got to be your choosing and I just want to tell you today to get control of yourself Amen. Let God arise. Amen. That your enemies may be scattered. There are enemies, amen, assigned to your life to take you out. They're designed just for you. Amen. But you can do all things through Christ. You can overcome all things through Christ that gives you the strength. Be encouraged in the way of the Lord. Amen. And get control of yourself. Amen. And if there's anybody, amen, that may be watching, amen, that may be amen, or wanting to accept Christ as their personal savior, amen, because you cannot get control of yourself, amen, except you first, amen, except Christ on the inside, amen, he is the initial, amen, a, a, a factor that is necessary in order for you to begin to live in a way, amen, that's conducive, amen, to his will, and so I want you, amen, to begin to just lift your hands, and we're going to pray this simple prayer, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. God, we thank you, God, for this great people, amen, that are looking and watching on tonight, even those that will view this, God, later on, God, whenever, wherever they are, God, watching this, God, we just ask, God, that you begin, God, to move upon them, God, in their life, God, those that have a heart to receive you, God, that as they receive you, God, hallelujah, God, that you come into their heart, God, that you come in and save them, that you baptize them with the Holy Ghost, God, and that you 
fill them, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We ask, God, that you look on the needs of your people, God. Oh, hallelujah, God. We ask, God, that you, God, 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 strengthen the faith of your people, God, that they may follow on, God, to know you, God, in a very real way. God, that we may lose sight, God, of our flesh, God, that our, we may lose sight of God of our will and our desire, God, that we may understand even more in these closing hours that it's not about us, God, that it's all about you, God. Come in, God, and be glorified, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Look on every, God, a, a sinner, God. Look on every backslider, God. Reclaim the backslider, God, every saint of God, God. Encourage them. Strengthen their faith, God. Encourage them in the way. It's our prayer and our desire, God. We just ask, God, that you continue, God, to walk with us, God, as we walk with you, God, that you continue, God, to guard our hearts, that you continue to guard our minds, God, as we endeavor, God, to please you in these last and evil days, God. Let our love for you, God, grow deeper, God. Hallelujah, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we love you, God, for this. God, we appreciate you, God, for your spirit. We give you praise and glory and honor in Jesus' name. Everyone say amen. Amen. We want to thank you, amen, for coming amen, and being a part of this on tonight, and I hope something, amen, was said, amen, that will strengthen you, amen, on tonight, amen, and, and, and encourage you in the way, amen, because this is a very serious hour, amen, and we can't afford, amen, to get lost in, and, and, and go another way but the way God would have us to go because there is the chance that you will not ever be able to get back. It's not always easy to get back on track. It's not always easy to get back on because after you've been exposed to things amen that it, it, it's not always easy to get rid of those things amen so you have to watch your appetites you got to watch what you're putting tanking in your system amen and you got to watch it amen so that God can get the glory out of your life amen be strong in the law and the power of his might until we see you next time God bless you we love you be encouraged Thank you.